and to address the House. The gentleman is recognized for one minute. Well, Mr. Speaker, the actions of the brave men and women in the military sacrificed so much for our country, and many of these soldiers on the front lines are aided by military working dogs who perform countless dangerous actions on the battlefield. And so it's easy to understand why there's a special bond that's formed between service members and their military service dogs. But currently, the Department of Defense is not required to bring these dogs home after they are retired. And this means veterans are often forced to spend their own money to transport them back to the United States for adoption. That's why I've introduced bipartisan legislation with my colleague, Congresswoman Kristen Sinema, that would fix this problem by ensuring that military working dogs are returned to the United States for adoption. Mr. Speaker, there's a waiting list of over 1,200 people looking to adopt these canines and ensuring that our troops and veterans can easily adopt these dogs honors their service and their partnership. And I yield back. Yield back his time. What purpose does the gentleman